Hi, my name is Casey Gosselin, and this is my experience doing VEX in high school. I'm currently on Team 6916H from Blackstone Valley Tech in Upton, Massachusetts. My experience doing VEX is unique because I go to a technical high school where I have the opportunity to learn traditional academics and a vocational trade as well. I chose drafting and engineering as my trade because I like the concept of designing things using CAD programs than 3D printing or machining them into real life objects. My first experience with VEX happened in sophomore year when my school did a competition with other students in my class using VEX parts from that year's game, Nothing But Net. Doing that project sophomore year really got me interested in VEX, so I decided to join BVT's official robotics team junior year and compete under 6916H with two other classmates. For that year's game, Starstruck, the goal was to throw stars and cubes over a fence and you would receive points based on how far from the fence each object landed. There was a near zone and a far zone. At the end of the match, we also had the option to hang our robot off a vertical tube for extra points as well. We thought that the easiest way to hold the stars and cubes was a scoop type platform, almost like a shovel. To get the stars and cubes over the fence, we decided on building an arm that would raise the scoop up over the robot and dump everything over the back of it. At our first competition, we realized that we would need to make changes to our robot, mainly because it was too hard to pick everything up. We also realized that robots had a tipping problem, so we needed to fix that as well. We rebuilt into a claw that could easily grab several stars at a time. For our drive base, we decided to use a holonomic drive system that could allow the robot to move in 10 different directions. At our second competition, we performed better and decided that we would keep this robot style, but tweak it more. We made our drive system stronger, we made the lift stronger, and we decided to fix that tipping problem. We also figured out how to program autonomous so that we were taking full advantage of all the time that we had in a match. One aspect of the game that we still wanted to take advantage of was hanging. To hang our robot, we had to design our arm to be tall enough so that it could latch onto the vertical tube and hoist itself up. By the Southern New England Regional Competition, we had helped fine tune the robot to the best we could possibly make it. Unfortunately, we didn't make it that far at regionals, but another one of the BVT teams did, and they qualified for the World Championship in Louisville, Kentucky. I was lucky enough to be able to attend the competition with them, but little did I know then, those four days would really change my life. I had heard stories about what Worlds was like, but nothing could have prepared me for what it was. Being surrounded by 18,000 people that all shared the same interests as me was surreal. Over the course of four days, I learned about how other people approach robotics and was introduced to many new things about VEX. On the last day, the 2017 to 2018 game was revealed in the zone. As I was leaving the convention center that day, I set one of my biggest goals of 2018. I would be back at Louisville again, not as a scout, not as team support, but as a competitor. I was going to qualify for VEX Worlds myself in 2018. The 2017 to 2018 game in the zone revolves around stacking small yellow cones onto weighted mobile bases. After the robot creates stacks of these cones, the mobile goal has to be dropped into one of three different zones per team, each worth their unique amount of points, ranging from 5, 10 to 20 points. For the tallest stack in each zone, teams could receive a bonus, earning them more points. Seeing the new game, my mind scrambled to think of possible designs and ideas on how to approach the game. After brainstorming with teammates, we decided to focus on scoring mobile goals first, since they could score over 50 points in a game. We decided to use a normal drive instead of holonomic because we didn't think that this game required strafing. We chose a one-to-one -one high speed drive train with four inch omnidirectional wheels. As a method for picking up the mobile goal, our first concept utilized a chain bar lift that could score in all three zones. A chain bar used sprockets and chain to keep the mobile goal lift at all points and it would be stored in the robot. Using CAD programs, we created a four bar linkage and a chain bar lift to stack cones. This lift could stack 13 cones, which we thought at the moment was a good number of cones to go for. Before our first competition in November, 
we decided to change the mobile goat to a much smaller four bar so that we could get more reach and so that we could make the robot thinner and more maneuverable. I practiced driving and stacking cones so that we could be up to par with other teams by the first competition. At the first competition, the robot performed well, but we realized that we needed to improve the time that it took to stack one cone because it was simply too small. Regardless, we won tournament finalists at the competition. After the competition, we went right ahead and redesigned our mobile go lift using CAD programs. The new mobile go lift only used one motor, but it could still score in all of the zones. The new lift was a 1 to 7 high speed double reverse 4 bar to 6 bar that could stack 14 cones. At the end of it was a mini 4 bar with a roller intake on it, similar to our previous robot. We won our second competition, meaning that we qualified for the Southern New England Regional Championship. My first step in returning to Louisville was done. It only meant that I had one more competition before I could achieve my goal. Leading up to states, we continued to revise our mobile goal lift so that it could hold the mobile goal further into the robot and so that we could stack more cones on it. As for the lift, we continued to use the double reverse 4 bar to 6 bar, however, we changed it so that the mini 4 bar at the end of it would end in a vertical position, positioned directly over the stack. This made driving extremely easy and eliminated the task of having to line up the 4 bar over the stack. This was one of the major flaws with our old robot. I practiced day after day, stacking on mobile bases and stationary goals and scoring them in each zone. By the time states had come around, I was confident that I would be able to qualify for myself. At the competition, we only needed to make it to semifinals to qualify for Worlds. At the first quarterfinal match, I was extremely nervous because my entire goal rode on this match alone. However, I can happily say that after the months of work, preparation, and practice, we won the match and I achieved my goal. In 2018, I qualified for Vex Worlds myself and I was going back to Louisville.